What's a classic? A classic is something which is permanent and universal. Permanent meaning it transcends the depredations of time. Universal meaning everybody likes it. It takes a process of time. You can't create an instant classic. Anybody who says, oh, I've just made a classic design has breathed too much you know, public relations. If you can recognize a city from a, the silhouette of a famous building alone, that building is probably iconic. So in Paris, you have the Eiffel Tower. In Florence, you have the Duomo. And in London, well, you know, perhaps you have Canary Wharf. This wasn't here 30 years ago, but now in profile, that signifies London. Or another famous example, I mean, Norman Foster's uh, erotic cucumber, known to everyone now as the gherkin, it's fallen into the repertoire of London silhouettes. So there's something extraordinarily powerful about any design which can achieve that. Something like Coco Chanel's little black dress. It's something which can scarcely be improved. It can be improved in the details, it can evolve, but essentially it's the same concept. And I think that's what we're seeing with the Countach. It's evidently a Lamborghini Countach, but it's a completely new one as well. In 1971, when the original car was produced, it was the first demonstration of a commitment to extremes. Lamborghini had made several very fine, very exciting, very beautiful cars before, but nothing had pushed the outer limits of the envelope as far as the, as the Countach. For me, a car is, a, is an object of contemplation in the same way as a building or a piece of sculpture or a work of art is. Finding an object as so dedicated to materiality as the new Countach is absolutely thrilling and a wonderful testament to um, you know, mankind's belief in beauty. If humankind has any appetite for icons in 50 years' time, I think the Lamborghini Countach will be among them. <laughs>